Connect got a step on Davis. Aggressive taken off the window. I want to say they held him to 31 in the first matchup. South Carolina going to try to pound this thing inside early to set the rules of how they want the game to be played. H.G. E. Johnson downhill got to the rim and snuck it in. Once Akai Ziegler is fully recovered from his ACL, he took over a point. Here he is getting a touch. And uh, Adu on the baseline in a mid-range. Tom, he has really developed that 15-foot jump shot. Yeah, Dalton Connect has to have help tonight offensively. He had 31 in the first matchup. They've got to have more balance in their offense. And a really good start by Adu answering that question. Coach, I've got his help tonight. Boy, good job by Mack to hold his ground and build a foundation using the wood as his friend as an inside defender. Watch out from the perimeter because wow. B.J. Mack is that stretch four guy that can ignite this building. Connect puts them back in their seats with a deep three. <laughs> Cooper got caught too deep, gave it up, and Murray boils with the jam. He's coming off a double-double against Florida, 15 and 11. Connect to the free throw line, and he dumps it down low. Toby Owaka with the bucket as he just entered. Helping run the point for South Carolina right now with Cooper on the floor. And Michi Johnson getting a breather. Deep three. Got it! Talon Cooper is here. Talking with the Tennessee coaching staff. They said he may be the most valuable player on this South Carolina team. They've gotten the best of them already in a game and a half. And Ziegler with an answer. See what Tennessee can do against South Carolina here with a shot clock of five. Zachary Davis for three, and that one finds its home. Well, eventually you're going to have some open looks. you got to knock him down. Carolina looking for the tie. Amici Johnson rolls it home. We're locked to 15. Building is hot. And at some point, you got to go and drive it against one of the better defenders in all of college ball, Meshack, who is a monster at Alabama. That is just good on good. You know, we just had Alabama last night, and the Alabama coaching staff raved about the job that Tennessee did winning all the 50-50 balls and the blue-collar points that Tennessee got. Here's Mack for three. South Carolina not afraid to run some clock. 348th in the country in time of possession. Adu finds its home. Tom, but it all started with Ganey winning the elbow. This kid goes left and lefter. There it is. <laughs> and the lefter ends up with a reverse layup. Here's Ganey. Got it. And he quiets the crowd again. What a scoring punch up. B.J. Mack looking for a post up on Awaka, who was just bear hugging him a moment ago on the inbounds. Shot clock in single digits again. Mack banging. Gets cut off. Gets denied. And the loose ball is corralled by the boys in orange. Again, a long possession for South Carolina. Forearm defense from James, and another block for Tennessee. Ganey gets it poked away, and it's taken away by Wright. Tennessee ran no offense that possession. They guarded themselves. Transition three, Sturdy. Connect for three. Again, he answers. He is a silencer. And indeed, it was a kick, so 20 seconds on the clock. And Connect is always the threat on these baseline out-of-bounds under. Look at this. Wow. You were a heck of a scout, Jimmy Dykes. Tommy you can't let him do it. In SEC play, Zach Eady is averaging 25.3 in Big Ten play. It's not a stretch for this guy to be in the conversation for National Player of the Year. They lost him again. Yeah. He makes him pay again. He is so good on the exit cut. How about Tennessee? Only five fouls. They have defended their backsides off without fouling in this game. Big one from Michi Johnson. South Carolina needed it. Ten left in the half. Ziegler with the screen from Connect. Another screen for him. Here he is. Ziegler with the drive. Crossed over Cooper. Splashes it down. It was connected. Then Ziegler from K to Z. Tennessee. All game. Ziegler makes something out of nothing. He lowers his shoulder without fouling to create space. Well, it's not easy to do against the stout defense of Tennessee, but South Carolina has taken 18 three-point shots in this game, Tom. They only average 23. Mack on connect. Interesting matchup. Trying to use his girth to get inside and a block. South Carolina is one of the most blocked teams 
Tennessee's got three of them now. Connect, no. Adu picks it up, and Carolina may have gotten away with a foul. Connect guarded by Zachary Davis. Went behind him, and Connect turns it into a speed into the turn right there. Now he hesitates as he gets into the turn, but man, you got to eat him up. You can't let him just easy dribble into an elbow jump shot. Cooper out to Michi Johnson. Got by two volunteers. And now third, and he banks it in. Okay, so now that's competing on the offensive end. Michi Johnson, this is competing off on offense. Go strong off of two feet right. Guys like Zach Eady and Hunter Dickinson, Mondo Baycott on down the line. And Adu can more than hold his own. Johnson looking for an assist. Murray Boyles with the finish. Vescovy took that draw board. How can you let this oh happen? Oh, my again? goodness. Tom, how can you let that happen again? To be physical with him, but you cannot let this guy operate off baseline out of bounds. On Carolina in a two and a half minute scoring drought now. Lon Cooper had a huge game the first time. Studi playing with confidence, and he strokes in a three. Vescovy went for the steal. Murray Boyles shares it. Seven footer Josh Gray blows the bunny, gets it back. Triple clutches and gets a whistle. The first team foul by Tennessee this half. And South Carolina has struggled the entire game finishing. South Carolina is starting to fight back in this second half with under 13 to go. And the crowd yeah. has been whipped into a lather. Murray boils the bucket. I do think coaches should look at what are we giving away and what are we taking away with their out of bounds under defense. Lob from Bescuvi, and wow, came crashing down from high up. Jonas Adu with the bucket, largest lead of the game for Tennessee. Michi Johnson took over the Florida game, get 21 in the second half. They need him to put that cape on, turn into a superhero again. He might be doing it. Stop the ball, build a wall right here for Tennessee. These guards are going to turn the corner and get downhill. Cooper into Adu. Oh. Off the window and in. Tom, you can smell it. You can see it coming. Competitive offensive team. Well done by Cooper. Connect rises from the bench. He'll check back in in a moment. Bottom. Meanwhile, Ziegler says, I got your back. And he throws in his first three of the game. Dalton Connect, 22 points on 19 shots. He's hit five of nine from deep. He has been unstoppable on the baseline out of bounds plays. And he uh -oh. gave up a jam to Murray Boyle. Nietzsche Johnson left it shirt. Look at Murray Boyles out to Cooper. Yeah. Carolina needed that one. It deserves to go in. In the 07 08 year, Nietzsche Johnson off the bench, hoists the three and tracks down the miss thanks to the tip. Now he's downhill. Now he yeah. finishes. Just stay with it. Five minutes without a bucket for Tennessee. Wide open, Adu. Oh, I was going to say, why did he bounce it? But he did it to. To kind of ry rhythm dribble himself to that left paw. H.E. Johnson takes the ball. And the ball is saved by South Carolina. Here's Mack. Yep. Whoa! P.J. Mack with his second triple. South Carolina uses a timeout. Run in the baseline. Yeah, but you, get, you, you gave Connect the option to go either way. He loves his side of the floor in an isolation game. Guarded by Jacoby Wright at just 6-2. Turnaround jumper. Yeah. Money. That's why you go to Dalton Connect on this side of the floor. He backs you down with that 6 6 frame, just rises up and gets good vision of that rim. Michi Johnson crosses over Ziegler, finds Cooper. Yes, what sir. a duo they are. Yes, sir. Cooper the rebound. Five point deficit for Carolina as we approach the one minute mark. Michi Johnson left Ziegler, hangs and hits. Main reasons that Tennessee is going to walk out of here with an SEC regular season title. They will be a one seed in the projected brackets starting tomorrow morning. Three is off the mark. The follow slam means nothing. It won't count anyway. And the Tennessee Volunteers have wrapped up an SEC outright regular season title. Connect will get a ring, but they think there is much more in store for this veteran team that now has a go-to scorer. With, without a doubt. And, and South Carolina, to me, is Sweet 16 good as well. They just got beat by a better club tonight. And the, the maturity of this team, but I said it in the second half, Tom. Tennessee last year in the NCAA tournament did not have Zakai Ziegler. They did not have Dalton Connect. You're arguably your two best players playing at a high level make this Tennessee team a real threat in that NCAA tournament.
They are in fact reviewing the final play on the follow dunk and even though it won't impact the outcome of this game it will impact some and you heard him say it does not count came after the buzzer. What a game for Dalton connect. He took this thing over and he was unstoppable for a run there where he finishes with 24. South Carolina's defense was taken apart by connect Tennessee's defense was the difference and the volunteers win the SEC regular season title with one game to play.